breaking news! Junior developer tries to build a to-do app without using Git for version control, ends up in mental asylum after accidentally wiping half of his code base. Oh, and before we start the video, consider hitting that like button and subscribing to become a fellow codehead. Are you serious? Before Git, writing software with a team was like trying to build a spaceship out of spaghetti, blindfolded. Every commit was a gamble, every collaboration a potential disaster. You'd overwrite someone's work, lose hours of progress, or worse. Ship broken code because nobody could figure out whose version was the latest. Developers would literally email zip files named things like final 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 version 2.zip and hope no one else touched the code in the meantime. It was chaos. But in 2005, a tool quietly emerged that flipped the script. It wasn't glamorous, it wasn't flashy, but it became the backbone of modern software engineering. That tool was Git. So what actually is Git? At its core, Git is a version control system. But calling it that is like calling a spaceship a vehicle. It tracks every change you make to your code, lets you go back in time, branch out into experimental ideas, and safely merge them back later. And the best part? It's distributed. That means your entire project history lives on your machine, no internet required, you could be coding in the middle of the desert with no signal and Git would still have your back. It's like a local time machine for your code. Now to really understand why Git was revolutionary, you have to see what came before. Developers used tools like CVS or SVN, which were centralized version control systems. Imagine a single golden copy of your code living on a server, and if you checked it out, no one else could touch it until you were done. It was like having one wrench for an entire pit crew. Progress was slow, and if someone forgot to commit changes, or committed broken code, it could grind the whole team to a halt. And don't even get me started on how often people accidentally nuked entire code bases. Git came along and said, how about we give everyone a full copy of the code, including all its history, and let people work independently until it's time to merge. It was the difference between fighting over a typewriter and everyone having their own laptop. But Git wasn't just about avoiding disasters. It enabled entirely new ways of building software. You could create branches to test features without touching the main code. Want to try a crazy new layout? Branch it. Fix a bug from three weeks ago. Just rewind to that snapshot. Yeah, it's rewind time. Got a teammate who broke something? Git literally lets you run a command called git blame to find out who did it. It's like CSI dev edition. More importantly, git made collaboration feel safe. Teams could work asynchronously, experiment fearlessly, and recover from mistakes instantly. With Git, developers weren't just writing code. They were building in public, merging innovations from different minds without fear of breaking the whole machine. Then came GitHub, and that's when Git went from being a powerful tool to becoming a cultural phenomenon. GitHub gave Git a visual interface and made sharing code with the world frictionless. You could fork a project with one click, make your changes, and submit a pull request from anywhere on Earth. Suddenly, open source exploded. People were building libraries, frameworks, and entire platforms collaboratively from different continents, time zones, and coffee shops. GitHub layered in things like issues, code reviews, and CI-CD pipelines, turning Git from a versioning tool into the command center of modern software development. It also became a living resume for developers. Want to get hired? Just show them your GitHub. It wasn't just about writing code. It was about writing visible, community-driven code. And here's the crazy part. Nearly 20 years later, Git is still the gold standard. Every IDE supports it. Every developer learns it. It powers everything from solo projects to multi-billion dollar apps. You'll hear complaints. Yes, merge conflicts suck. And yes, the command line can feel like dark magic. But there's a reason no serious dev team builds software without it. Git is the plumbing of the digital world. Invisible most of the time, but absolutely essential. It's the foundation we stand on every time we hit commit. Even the most advanced AI coding tools in the world today still rely on Git under the hood. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. So next time you push your changes or squash a commit history, take a second to appreciate just how much chaos Git quietly prevents. Oh, and if you want to have a better understanding of how Git works, why don't you check out Code Crafters? Their platform gives you access to unique projects that will help you stand out from the competition without the clown shoes and nose. Want to build an HTTP or DNS server from scratch? Check. Hell, you can even craft your own version of Git. All while others are still struggling to center that annoying div in their to-do app. You can start some projects free of charge, and if you use my link in the description, you can get yourself a whopping 40% off, so hurry up. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to share and subscribe to become a fellow codehead.